Welcome to the R video tutorial on agent based models part 11. Okay, so we've got our functions set up now uh, from our previous videos. We've got everything functionized so we can easily run this. Now, what we did notice is that there are some problems with our code. For example, we have people that uh, were moving to the death category and then they somehow got out of it. So that's not possible with the way it should be set up. And it's the way we initially set things up to begin with. So what we're going to do is we're going to work our way through fixing this. And it's really not that hard of a fix given what we've already done, but it will take a little bit of work for it to happen. And I'll first explain what's going on and why this is doing this. Okay, so if you scroll down through into our function, notice what we do. We said for one, I and one to the number of people in the population. So everyone in the population, even those who've died, okay we're gonna have them well they could mix with somebody and even though they're dead and once they if they've mixed with somebody who is exposed they could or they could become exposed even though they're dead which makes no sense in the sense of how we've been working on this so what we want to do is we want to fix this and it's not that hard of a fix all we have to do is instead of looking at everyone in the population why don't we only look at the people who are susceptible? That makes far more sense than looking at everyone because only the susceptible people should be able to mix with other people in the population. And when we look at the other part of the population, uh, we also need to pull out only the people who are exposed. Those are the only people that we should have them interacting with. So they should meet either with susceptible people or susceptible and exposed people. We're saying people who are sick are not going to meet with anybody because they know they're sick and they should be quarantined. And obviously the people who have died uh, uh, obviously are not going to be mixing with anyone else. So this is the problem that we have and this is what we need to fix. Uh, so we can just do this with a few simple if statements and everything else will work. Okay, but we have to use some of the ideas that we had before. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is uh, let's just grab, if you notice before, we had this thing, state E1, and we grabbed all the people who were in that state. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, we're going to grab and make state S1, okay, where the people are susceptible, okay, and we're going to move through these people. Okay, these are the people that we're going to move through. We're not going to move through every single person, okay, uh, like we did before. And um, the, because only you can only move from susceptible to exposed, you can't move from exposed to exposed because you're already exposed. So, what we need to do is here is just change this to the length. Uh, oh, actually, I could just do states S1. I don't need to even put a one on here because this will have the list of everybody who is in this state already there. So it's already going to go out, grab all of this. Everything here should work the same except once I get down to the people they will meet. Okay. I don't want to grab everybody in the group. Okay. I only want to grab the people who are S or E. Okay because those are the people that they could possibly meet. If we currently have our certain situation, we still have them meeting everyone. So I'm going to create here another statement. Okay. So I'm going to have here uh, states S E and here I'm going to use the or statement or agent one state equals double equals um, and let me copy this down here because it's or E. Okay. And that will grab all the people who are in both groups. Okay. And again, you have to be good at logic to get this to work. And this helps you improve your logic. So I'm not going to sample everybody in NPOP. I'm only going to sample people from here. Okay, and that will give me the people that they could meet up with. So they could meet up with susceptible or exposed. And this should fix my problem. Okay, because only the people who are insusceptible could possibly become exposed now. And the only people they can interact with are people who are susceptible or exposed. 
this should fix my problem. All right, so let's give this a go and see if it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run everything from the top all the way to the bottom. And if you remember, we've ran the bottom already, and we have some sense of what the outcome should be in the sense of it should look something like this. So we run this real quick, and it says incorrect number of probabilities. Okay, so here it says sample this for, uh, with a certain size. And this is where our problem is, is we didn't quite sample correctly. So here we have agent one dollar sign mixing. Okay, uh, and this is common mistakes that people kind of make, it, and it's okay. So you would say we're going to want to brace this off, and we're going to want to take our states one through this. Okay, and we're going to want to move mixing on the inside. So we're going to take the mixing for these people. Okay, and now this should work because it's going to go to agent one. It's going to grab the mixing, and then it's going to subset it to only these people here. So everything should match up now. Now if I highlight this and run this, it still says we have the incorrect number of probabilities even though we should have exactly the same number of people. So, ah, and it's because we're sampling from one to here. Now we run this, and it works, okay? Because we were going from one to state, and this is not a number. If you look at state SE1, this is not a number. It's a list of numbers. And so that's where it was getting a little confused. Now let's see if this fixed our problem. What is our problem? Is that people were going from here and leaving. Okay, so these are all increasing. This is good. They're all increasing. Same thing with recovered. They're all increasing, which is what they should be doing. Once you become recovered, there's no way out. Okay. Uh, just the same as being dead. There's no way out. So this has our basic model set up that has all five states in it. Now we can talk about how to tune this model in the next video. So see you there.